Hello everybody and welcome to this video on how to measure the current that's going through um, a laser diode driver. The laser diode driver that I will be using in this video uh, can be found at the address on your screen right now. <coughs> and the purpose of why we need to set the current is because different laser diodes consume uh, different uh, amounts of, um, of current therefore they all have different current requirements plus these laser diode drivers can be used to drive anything from uh, the standard infrared laser diodes to, to red or blue ray diodes from low power to high powered ones so um let's uh, let's go on and uh, discover how we do this um so what i've got here is a, a test load that replicates a blue ray laser diode load i've got 614n001 uh, silicon rectifier diodes uh, soldered in series along with a 1 ohm resistor and I will come back to that in just a moment um, and I've got, uh, that's obviously connected to the output of the laser diode driver I've got the, the driver here called a microdrive V3 um, it's very popular laser diode driver in fact um, I would say it's one of the, the best ones to use these days it's small enough to fit in the standard um, axis laser module uh, therefore it's um, very compact and it gets the job done <coughs> and what I've got as a power source is three CR123 lithium batteries you can see four here but this one here is not connected to uh, within the circuit I was just a bit too lazy to um, to remove this from from the set, but I'm only using these three batteries. It's connected in series. There we go. So that's a negative terminal and that's a positive terminal. We've got an on-off switch here. <coughs> so let's begin. Um, the first way to measure the current that's going through the laser diode driver is to measure um, well. There are actually many ways in which we can measure the current, but I'm going to cover two of the easiest and most convenient ways in this video. So the first way that we're going to measure the current is to measure the current across the input um, by connecting an ammeter in series with the input. Um, and what I've got here is a digital multimeter. Now the first thing we have to do before performing any uh, kind of measurement is to identify the maximum uh, rating of the measurement instrument that we are using. In this case, um, we can see that this meter supports a current measurement up to 200 milliamps max only <coughs> and therefore we shouldn't use this to measure currents, current greater than 200 milliamps uh, for fear that it might damage the, the meter. Um, uh, 200 milliamps is sufficient to cover the range for setting the, the current for Blu-ray the PHR 803T diode because they normally run between 100 to 110 milliamps. So, so this this meter is fine. If um, if you're setting the current for a red laser diodes, they normally consume between 250 to 400 milliamps, and therefore we can't use this method unless your meter supports um, measure a measurement of greater than 200 milliamps. <coughs> so the first thing that we're going to do now is um, turn the meter on. I'm going to set it to 200M under amperage measurement and that means I can measure current anything up to 200 milliamps of current now I'll connect this in series with the input 
it's very easy to do if you have a switch because all you have to do is place the the two probes the two leads across the switch terminals this is just normal on off switch and by doing so I'm I'll be using the meter to complete the circuit rather than by using rather than using the switch to complete the circuit so by doing this the current is going to flow through the meter through the driver and through the load and back up through the meter again so I'll put the, the red lead where the blue wire is connected to the positive terminal of the battery and the black lead to the return path negative return path um, and we've got um, the circuit is now complete the driver is working and as you can see we've got a measurement of 106.3 milliamps that's what I want for my blu-ray laser diode because the blu-ray um, PHR 803T diode should be driven between 100 to 110 milliamps um, otherwise um, uh, it may exceed the rating and shorten the lifespan so that's one way we can measure the, the current the next way we can measure the current is by measuring the voltage across a load so what we've got here is a 1 ohm resistor connected in series with the output load and the reason why we are doing this is because of the equation V equals I over R therefore if we fix the resistance to 1 ohm then the, our mathematical equation becomes V equals R therefore by measuring the voltage it will review uh, the current that's going through the circuitry um, so let's try to do that I'm going to set my voltmeter to 200M Vol voltage reading 200M this allows me to measure um, anything up to 200 millivolts so do that I'm going to turn the switch on obviously okay it's turned on I'm going to place my probes across and it's measuring the voltage across the load now oops got a loose connection there there we go 100 and oops just get that right oops there we go 105.9 millivolts which kind of equates to 105 milliamps the reading is slightly less than what we got earlier because the driver itself consumes a small amount of current <coughs> as you can see the um, it's a negative in front of the reading that's because I've placed the leads in the opposite direction so it doesn't really matter when we perform measurements like this if we put it in the right direction as such oops. positive reading 105.9 millivolts now the last thing to show you was um, most digital oh well most multimeters have an option for measuring currents greater than than this reading here this maximum 200 milliamps and this is an option that allows us to measure maximum of 10 10 amps and I'm going to show you how we, we can use this um, and there's also a disadvantage of using that but um, it can be handy if if you need to measure currents greater than uh, the range that's listed here so um, the way we do that is we switch this lead over to this connection and when the leads in that connection um, all the features are not going to work because they all they all pick up um, the circuitry from this this connection and this one's only used for this reading here 10 amps so this allows us to measure currents up to 10 amps and I'm um, going to do the same as I did before which is um, I'm going to connect my probes in series with 
the input there we go it's completing the circuit now oops it was um, hmm. there we go got a measurement of 0 0.11 0 0.10 amps which kind of equates to 100 to 110 milliamps and that's one of the disadvantage of using this uh, this settings because we lose several decimal points and we can't really get an accurate reading but because it supports up to 10 amps we can use this to set our current for different laser diodes such as um, the, the the red laser diodes that consume more than 200 milliamps and um, that's it um, that's all for now that's how we uh, we measure the current going through the laser diode driver um, that small port right there that square silver bit there is, is where we adjust the current we can turn uh, we can turn 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 it up um, uh, by going turning the uh, the knob clockwise now we can reduce the current by turning the knob anti-clockwise um, and once once we've uh, set it to the current that we want the next thing to do will be to disconnect these two output leads from the dummy load and um, hook it up to the real laser diode so thanks for watching